The Google Maps API is a vast subject. For example, you can customize your own map and make it something Mario related. Sounds exciting, but it's not the topic of the video. Indeed, there are four different users for the Google Maps API. Maps, routes, places, and environment. And the one we are interested in is places, the one that will allow us to scrape companies' data. But what data can be exactly gathered? At what cost? And how to bypass potential restrictions? Finally, we will compare the official API with the scrap.io API, which also enables scraping on Google Maps. The link for scrap.io is in the description. If we take a look at the Google Maps API in the Places tab, we can see a lot of subcategories. There are 10 of them. There are APIs for very specific uses, others for extracting coordinates, time zones, or photos. And finally, there are zoos that allow you to scrape company data, text search, place details, and nearby search. Let's start with text search. As its name suggests, it is based on the insertion of text. For example, vegetarian restaurants in Sydney, Australia. It is very similar to a normal use of Google Maps. What about place details? Starting from a place ID, meaning the ID of a business on Google Maps, we can enrich available data, which implies retrieving data on detailed pages. These include full address, telephone number, rating, and reviews. The last one is the one we are most interested in, nearby search. Nearby search is based on one or more Google Maps categories and the location. The category, it is one among the 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. Restaurants, real estate agencies, pharmacies, beauty salons, and so on. As for the location, it is created via coordinates, latitude and longitude, a cycle and a radius ranging from zero to 50,000 meters. Once it is done, you can scrape businesses and get all this data. It is a bit confusing, but here is what is interesting. Name, ID, location, primary type, opening hours, phone number, price level, rating, rating count, website URL, and company features, usually available in the About tab. Of course, all this data comes at a cost, from $32 per 1,000 results for the basic version, to $35 for the advanced version, and rising to $40 for the preferred version. Please note that these prices are non-degressive. A final limitation is the number of results retrieved. A maximum of 120 results can be extracted per query. The only way to get more is to do several searches. You are going to tell me that this is just a detail, but in the long run, this is what limits scalability. So how to get around these limitations? That's where Scrap.io comes in. Scrap.io is a platform created for unrestricted Google Maps scraping. All you need to do is to create an account by clicking on the link in the description. You can then obtain your CSV or Excel file of leads directly via our tool within a few clicks. But of course, you can also scrape data thanks to our API. You can use it for a variety of purposes, but here are the two main ones. Something we can call the nearby search equivalent. You set up a category, a location, and you get the related data. The difference is that you get much more data. Not only do you have access to Google Maps data, but also to data displayed on websites. That's how you can collect email addresses, social network URLs, or metadata, for example. But with the Scrap.io API, you can also enrich data from company IDs, something similar to place details, but also enrich using URLs, phone numbers, or emails. This data is then matched with the current spending data on Google Maps. And this is something that has no equivalent 
on the official API. In addition to a wider use, you no longer suffer from the 120 result limit. Finally, you get better value for money. The first price allows you to retrieve up to 10,000 unique leads per month for $49, including, among other things, email addresses and social networks. Moreover, the extraction of your first 100 leads is free of charge, the link remains in the description. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.